guys, we have a very special guest on Ryan's World today. Let's see who it is. Hi everyone, you won't believe who just moved into our neighborhood. He's one of my best friends. He's the smartest, coolest, smartest. Ah, uh, you said smartest already, dude. Did I? Gosh, I'm just so nervous. I want everything to be perfect for his welcome party. I prepared grape juice, crackers, a chocolate fountain. No gummies though, I see. It's okay, pet. I'm sure this mystery guest of yours will love what you've done. Just relax. Uh, okay, uh, I'm relaxed. Whoa! Smooth. He's here, he's here. Okay, uh, places everyone. We're ready the confetti. Warm the horns, carbo- Answer the door! Okay, hey, everyone say hello to my friend, Dr. Ion! Hey, Peck! I can't wait to do some experiments with you again. Sure, but first, can I get you anything? Cheese and crackers, ice cream, anything? Yeah, well, um, can you get me a cup of water? Water? Oh, popsicles, I forgot water! How could I forget the most basic, simple thing? Remind me not to have Peck play in my birthday party. Whoa, 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 Peck, it's okay. Actually, I may actually have some on me. You brought that with you? Yeah, a good scientist is always prepared. And after all, water is one of the coolest substances in the universe. Really? Well, maybe for our first experiments together, we could explore what makes water so cool. Great idea, Peck. In fact, let's explore the properties of water. So Peck, have you ever wondered how water can be like this, this, or even like this? Gosh, you really do like water. So water acts this way because it's composed of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. Hey, that almost looks like we're a combo panda. So, hydrogen is attracted to oxygen, and this attraction is what we call hydrogen bonding. This is the reason why water is polar, because water molecules are attracted to each other. It appears to pull itself together, even on the table. It's almost like the water sticks to itself. That's right. And that leads to our next property of water, cohesion. Cohesion means that water is always sticking to itself. Ah! I'm okay! I never realized water was so sticky. Does it stick to other things too? It does. This is called adhesion. Adhesion is when water can stick to other things. Water can stick just like glue. Look, see? Whoa, so cool. All right, let me show you what I mean with an experiment. That's not a paper towel. Ah, here we go. Thank you. You sure have a lot of stuff in that lab coat. Yeah, a good scientist is always prepared. Amazing. All right, looks like I need to elevate this. Let me just grab this guy. Go. So, when I soak the end of this paper towel in this water, see? how the water glues itself to the paper towel. And then I'll soak this end in here. And look! You know, staring at water is making me really thirsty right now. I'm gonna go get a glass of water. What? How did he do that? Where did he go? A little while later. I love water. Fun fact! Did you know our body is made of 60% water? Amazing! Look how the color travels up the paper towel! Whoa! It did! Notice how the blue water travels up the paper towel. We can see this in real life too. This upward motion against gravity is exactly how water travels up tall trees. Amazing! Can I try? Fine. Just be careful not to... Spill... I should have worn a swimsuit to the lab today. Peck, you're soaking wet. And you are all done, my friend. Okay, I think I'm finally dry. 
Our next property of water is surface tension. This means that water likes to bunch up real tight. To demonstrate, I'm going to get a penny, and using my favorite instrument, the pipette, I'm going to transfer water and place it on top of the penny. As I add water on top of the penny, the hydrogen bonds between the water molecules are so strong, they're hugging each other. As I add more and more and more, they're going to stay clumped together, and this creates a dome. But what happens if I use a toothpick with some soap and I touch the dome? Whoa! Notice how the dome burst. It's because the soap broke apart those hydrogen bonds. With no bonds, no dome. Gosh, it's like magic. Not magic, it's science. Moving on to our next property of water. Which is? That it's a universal solvent. And that means that a lot of things can dissolve in water. For this experiment, it looks like we have sugar, oil, and bleach. Alrighty kids, remember when you're dealing with bleach, always have an adult to help you out. This is sugar into water. Cool, huh? Whoa! The sugar is dissolving in the water right before our eyes! This is bleach into water. Look! The bleach dissolved after mixing in the water! This is oil into water. Wow! The oil isn't dissolving. You can see it floating in the water. It appears to sugar, salt, and bleach dissolved in the water, but not the oil? Yep, and that's because water is polar, meaning only polar things can dissolve in water. Oil, on the other hand, is non-polar, but that's an experiment for another day. Amazing! Alrighty, and it's time for our final property of water. But for this one, I'm going to need a whole entire beach. I've got to get me one of those coats. And our last property of water is high specific heat, which means that it takes water much longer to heat up than most things. Of course. That's what keeps the plants and animals that live in water from cooking or freezing every time the weather changes. Exactly. And to demonstrate, we're going to test which is hotter, sand or water. See you guys. See you tomorrow. Oh, gosh. Ready? All right, run! Much better. I'll say, water heats up more slowly than sand. Wow, thanks for exploring the properties of water with me. All right, shall we recap with the song? Uh, I'm not that much of a singer. Water has several properties that make it flow and drip and squeeze. Because it's polar, it stays in clumps even when it slides and jumps. The next two traits are not that tricky. They just mean water's kind of sticky. Cohesive nips means it sticks like glue. Adhesive nips means it sticks to you. Yo, surface tension will excite. It keeps a surface lock real tight. Here's my universal solvent, cheer! And guess what? Water can make things disappear. And the last and best and final rule! High specific heat keeps water cool. Water is amazing! In fact, I like to spend the rest of the day in it. Same here. Now, only if we had some catchy beachy tunes to, I don't know, to listen to. A good scientist is always prepared. <laughs> that's a nice one, Tech, but that's my line. Now this is a party! I've been wanting a beach day! Do you think they'll stay in our neighborhood, Mr. Dr. Ion? Well... Okay, I'll... Stay! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Welcome to the squad, Dr. Ion. Well, thank you for watching. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye! <laughs>